Welcome to openmentor.net. In this session, we are going to see the basics of classes and methods. For a moment, forget about the typical classes. You look at your basic C program and other uh, COBOL program or any other procedural language. Assume that this line doesn't exist for a for time being. In C, you'll, st you'll start writing methods or procedures. So there is a procedure main. There's a procedure factorial, there's a procedure area of circle, okay? So I'm just giving a, an analogy between C and Java, how you can quickly convert this to a Java class package. Now, every method returns something. This method doesn't return anything, so it's turned as void. Factorial program takes in a parameter integer, it returns an integer. Then area of circle takes an integer as a parameter, returns nothing. What you will see something different in Java, you will see additionally all these methods. In C, you call them as procedures functions. In Java or in object oriented language terms, these are all called methods. You don't call them as functions and procedures, you call them as methods. There is a class declaration. So first the keyword class, then the class name. Usually the convention is the first name or the first letter of the words in the class names will be in capital letters. That's the convention. Again, it is not must. Usually people write the first letter of every word in the class names with capital letters. First verb, if you see here in area of circle, this is one of the conventions that people use for writing method names. The first word will always have everything in lower case. Then the first letter of every other word will have the capital letters. So this is how most of the methods will be coded. You can use underscores no harm. But this is the convention that people use. If it is a single word like factorial, you, you write everything in small or lower case letters. Class and then the class names there is an open brace here, there is a closed brace here. So the class is the one that wraps around all the methods. This is the first thing. The classes, the class name wraps around all the methods. Within the class you have the methods which are nothing but procedures and functions. You have, there is something called mo access modifiers. This is different, this is something new in object oriented programming. You can have either public or private. There are other access modifiers but most of the times we use this public and private. We will talk about the others a little bit later. Not now. Once we go to the advanced stages we will talk about other access modifiers. So you will use public or private for the access modifiers for the methods. Classes also have attributes or properties. All these things will be declared that attributes of the class or the fields of the class will be declared before all the methods. So you will declare variables here. These are nothing but variables but this, they are called attributes of the class. But again those attributes also can have access modifiers. Attributes also have access modifiers. We will see the attributes in the next session, but in this session we try to simply do a few method calls. You will understand that and then declare how to have, and then we can see how to declare another class. Okay. Attributes we will come to that later. Now if you see here, the class wraps around the methods. The first thing is the main method. So in this one, I have an integer i and the f. I am printing I am in main, then I am calling the factorial with the variable i, parameter i, and it returns me f. I am coming back to main, I print that value of f. Then I call the area of circle with the parameter i, then I am printing this. So calling the methods within the same class is no different from calling in C or any other programming language. So when you, when you are, only when you are calling methods of another class, I will show it to you in, uh, later in this session. Calling methods within the same class is 
very simple just call that with parameters if it returns a value like integer or anything you have a left hand side variable also so here in this method factorial I am taking in a parameter then I am calculating the factorial I am printing it returning it f access modifier public means when we declare another class that class also can directly some of the methods in the other classes can directly access this method when you say private area of circle cannot be accessed from outside I'll show you to uh, a few minutes away from now okay so public methods are accessible by other methods and other classes no restrictions private methods can be accessed only by another method within this class you cannot call this method from another class so that is this is the best way to information hiding okay so you are restricting people from unauthorizedly accessing some of the methods so you don't have to worry about that whereas in C anybody can access any function here there is a restriction only public methods are accessible from outside private methods are not same way public attributes are accessible from outside private attributes are not so you are using the private attribute or the private access modifier for better information hiding so let me go ahead and then compile and then run this program see what happens so the class name here is one okay so you need to use that name itself when you run this Java now if you see it is in main then it is going to the factorial then it comes back from the factorial because it returns the value it prints the factorial of 5 which is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 which is 120 then it goes to area of circle then it prints the area of circle pi r squared right I think I made a mistake over here uh, area of circle also there is a spelling mistake everywhere so you need to correct these are all the logical errors that people need to uh, correct before they write something okay now I made a mistake I said pi which is 22 by 7 star n actually area of circle is n star n pi r squared that's why I need to do so I made a mistake and if you see here I'm using something called a float within brackets this is called type casting so I am printing the value in float so if you explicitly do that data type within brackets that is called type casting in Java let us compile it and then run it again so it is in main then it is going to the factorial then it comes back to the main it prints that they again it goes to the area of circle because I call that method it is pi r squared that value comes here the value comes back to main if you look here in the main method also I am using the variables i and f in the factorial also I am using this i and f okay so when you change the variables here it doesn't change the value here so this is called the local variable to this particular method this is called the local variable of this method as long as you pa do not pass the address of it we will see that later Ye anything which is local to that particular method these two variables are created when this method is called when the method is exited these two variables are erased same way when this method is entered these two variables are created when this method is exited these are evaporated or they erased vaporized literally so that is the local scope of the variables but when we see the attributes the scope and access modifiers are different don't get confused with them scope is something different access modifiers are something different now right now I showed you three methods one main and one mathematical function factorial and one mathematical function area of circle in the same class now I am going to divide the same thing into two classes and then I'll show it to you how you can call them look at this this is class 1 right now class 1 has got only one main I have closed the braces for class 1 so class 1 starts here it ends right here there is no other method in class 1 whereas I have declared class 2 
this is separate class that consists of two methods the same factorial and area of circle so the fact I have not changed any piece in this one except I added the wrapper class 2 class 2 so previously what was in just one class now I divided them into two classes okay how will I class I will like call a method in class 2 very simple you need to use this construct okay before you call a method in another class first instantiate the class this is called instantiation you create the class the syntax is the class name give a name I give C2 this is like a variable this is called the object name an instance of the class in memory is called object okay then you use this new construct to create allocate memory space for that this is the class name so I create a new instance of class 2 then all I'm doing is class name dot method name so this is the syntax in object oriented uh, technology uh, methods class name dot method name this is the standard syntax everywhere so you instantiate the class then call previously I was just calling because I was calling factorial of I because it was in the same class now it is in a different class so first you need to instantiate the class and then call the method with the class name dot that method name since this is a public method in class 2 this is declared as a public method so class 1 or any other class can call this method without having any problem for a moment I am commenting these two lines I am not calling area of circle now let us compile and then see how it works compiled so it is in main it instantiates that object and then it is going to the factorial method of the other class comes back so no issues so the call is going smooth only thing is rather than calling directly the method instantiate the class then class name dot method name or say object name or method name this is called the class name this is called the object name so an object is an instance of that particular class in the memory so object name dot let me say rather than class name object name dot method name that's why you need to that's how you need to call now let me try to call this area of circle also let us see what happens I uncommented this anyway we have instantiated the class here now I say c2 dot, dot area of circle I am passing the parameter but c2 that area of circle has been declared as private when I compile it is saying area of circle has private access in class 2 so from class 1 you cannot call a private method in class 2 that is the first information hiding and then restriction in terms of access so the access modifiers if it is declared as a private method in another class you cannot directly call that method from any other class so how do I call it now this method is private area of circle so I am not able to call this method from another class so instead if I want to get to this one what I did is there is another public method call area of circle this is a method within class 2 so this can call this but a method from another class cannot directly call this so this is almost acting as a wrapper this is acting as a shield so you get to this anyway this is just calling it is one line but I'm saying if you see here this dot area of circle this means this classes area of circle so this is a keyword THIS is the keyword within class 2 this means class 2 dot area of circle so if you want to call a private method it needs to be shielded by another method so that in this method you can take appropriate action who calls why is it getting called once those things are passed you you make the call to go through this one so private methods need to have shields like this now let us compile this execute this now if you see here 
it is in main class calling factorial because it's a public method factorial comes out no problem then it calls this call area of circle which is the public method that in turn calls area of circle which is a private method that internally prints that area of the circle calculated so in this session we have seen how to declare classes we have declared class 1 and class 2 then how to call methods within the same class what is the use of public and private and we have seen the THIS keyword also so this is the basic now hereafter it is going to be so many classes and so many methods so it is up to the designer whoever it is who is doing the object oriented design for that particular application needs to think through carefully which objects must be declared which methods must go into that particular class who should call that that comes as part of the design so you need to be clear in terms of the public scope and private scope if it is public open to anyone if it is private it is open to only within that class so you are restricting the accesses for the attributes we will see in the subsequent sessions we will end the session here thank you